This location has a real David and Goliath mythology. It has weathered wars and revolutions against far bigger nations, and yet, against all the odds, is now emerging as one of Asia's fastest growing economies. A former French colony known as the city of motorbikes, where transactions can sometimes be made in gold bars, and apparently, everyone's a millionaire. This stop is Ho Chi Minh City. Let us reveal the myths behind this city right here on Culture Shock. Vietnam is located at the heart of Southeast Asia. It is a country that has seen the rise and fall of great dynasties, heroes, heroines, the French colonization and the Vietnam War. The Vietnamese were known as a migratory people. This is reflected in the Chinese characters used to describe the Vietnamese. This phrase literally means crossing to the south. It was used to differentiate those who remained in China and those who crossed to the south to become the forefathers of Vietnamese people today. The largest city of Vietnam, Ho Chi Minh City, lies on the south of the country, right next to the Saigon River. After free market reforms were implemented in 1986, Vietnam experienced rapid economic growth and cities like Ho Chi Minh City attracted many international investments. It is easy for foreigners to feel overwhelmed in a fast-moving, multifaceted city and to help me cope with the culture shock, I turn to my animated associate, Lam. Nick, it's yeah. me. Yeah. So, yeah. You're in Lam. Lam, yeah. Right, okay, yeah. good How to you? Me. How about your flight? Yeah, it was, good. it was a good flight, yeah. Public transport is readily available in Vietnam. However, most Vietnamese do not speak English and certainly not the taxi drivers. So it would be a good idea to have the address of your hotel in Vietnamese. The taxi ride into the city generally takes about 30 minutes. But for the uninitiated, the taxi fare will most certainly surprise you. It's called the uh, 150,000 dong. 150,000 dong? Yeah, yeah. Wow, it sounds like a lot of money yeah. for a taxi journey. But I know it's not, right? It's around yeah. about, it's actually under 10, 10 US? Would yeah, that be less, right? ten, less 10 US dollar. After doing the conversion, the taxi fare sounds more reasonable. Nonetheless, foreigners should be careful not to be taken for a ride. Vietnamese believe foreigners are rich. So most taxi drivers will charge foreigners a higher rate. Some taxi meters can be rigged to jump quickly too. So the best practice is to negotiate a price first before taking the taxi. Make sure you have the exact change. So should the driver change his mind, you can pay the exact amount and walk away. Um, yeah. Can I pay with US dollars? Uh, I can have dollars, don't want. Yeah, yes, you can. All oh, right, okay. Yeah. Vietnam has a dual currency system of Vietnamese dong and US dollars. The exchange rate fluctuates around 1 US dollar to 16,000 dong. Vietnam's monetary policy was unable to react quickly enough to the increase of foreign investments after joining the World Trade Organization. An inflexible monetary policy coupled with large money flow have escalated the dong's value, leading to inflation. With such massive inflation and the low valuation of the currency, it's hardly surprising that everyone is a millionaire. In Dong, of course. Good morning, Vietnam! Sorry, couldn't resist. Hello, Ho Chi Minh City. Busy is too mild a word to describe the streets of Ho Chi Minh City. Upon arrival, I am immediately greeted by an onslaught of motorbikes. Wow, so many bikes here, it's like a swarm of them. Yeah. Are the streets always this crowded? Yes, Ho Chi Minh City is the capital of the motorbike. In 1975, after the Vietnam War, the motorcycle industry experienced a big boom. Now, with a population of about 6.5 million people, there are about 4 million motorbikes and over 500,000 cars in Ho Chi Minh City, making its roads one of the most congested in the world. You see wow. many motorbikes on the street. Yeah, yeah. And everyone likes to use their horn. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And he goes, hey, look at this guy here. 
Yeah. Surely, yeah. That, that's illegal, surely. That's dangerous. Yeah, no danger. No accident. Really? Yes. Why is there no accident? Uh, because they go, go slowly, slowly, and the uh, motorbike will fall it up. Yeah. The Vietnam streets are not for the faint-hearted. Vietnamese drivers do not always follow traffic rules. It is common to see motorbikes laden with goods or a few passengers weaving in and out of traffic, even going against traffic and riding onto the pavements among the pedestrians. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, we got a Careful. frog. We got a frog. What? You can't go across here. There's uh, no lights. No, it ends No, come on. Uh, no, it's, it's okay. Safe. It's okay, it's safe. Sure. Yeah. Crossing the road in Ho Chi Minh City is quite a safety hazard due to the chaotic traffic conditions. Most traffic accidents involve motorbike riders or pedestrians at speeds less than 30 kilometers per hour. The way to cross a road in Vietnam is to let the traffic avoid you. Make your actions and pace predictable. Do not make sudden moves, change direction or stop. If you are still worried, follow a local and mirror exactly what he does. That's unbelievable. That's okay. crazy. It's, it's okay. It's safe. My they, heart's still in my mouth. Yeah. They know what they're doing. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You don't think that's dangerous? Yeah. No, dangerous. <laughs> the number of deaths and road accidents in the city is surprisingly very low. This is because motorists travel at relatively slow speeds. Lam insists that it's not dangerous. Although, I really beg to differ. Oh my goodness. And all this action's making me so hungry. Yeah. Uh, I could eat a horse. A horse? Don't worry about it. Okay. Eating out is a way of life in Vietnam, and Ho Chi Minh City has always been regarded as the gastronomical capital of the country. We are here to taste the Vietnamese equivalent of fast food, which is noodles and beef broth. Pho is a popular dish amongst the Vietnamese. It takes the skillful vendor less than a minute to put together a steaming bowl of rice noodle soup. However, preparing the delicious soup involves stewing the bones of cows and pigs in a large pot for a long time. Pho is typically served with beef slices and topped with vegetables. Besides beef, pho can also be eaten with chicken or pork slices. How about your food? Oh, it's great. It's very great. The, the soup, it looks like water, but there's so many flavors in this. Yeah. And it tastes very healthy. Yes, it's healthy. Which is strange for fast food. Yeah. Luckily, one never has to walk far to find food in Ho Chi Minh City. Food stalls and restaurants are scattered all over the city, and you have a wide variety of international and Vietnamese cuisines to choose from. Such a variety yeah. of food. It's incredible. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I've seen this a lot. This is the fish uh, sauce. Fish sauce. Fish sauce, yeah. It uh, make from fish and salt, you know. Fish and salt, fish and salt. The distinctive look nam is unique to Vietnam. It is made from liquid drained from salted fermented fish, a must in Vietnamese cuisines. Other seasonings like lime juice, sugar, water, spices and herbs can be added to the fish sauce to create more unique flavors. No, 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 no. You can drink this one. What? This one, not for rain. <laughs> this is... Uh... Yeah. This is soup, right? No soup. <laughs> no. This one not 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 soup. It is a uh, finger prawn. Finger prawn? Yeah, finger prawn. You use that for um, wash your your hair. Oh right. Yeah. I'm sorry. This is a finger bowl. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's so big. Yeah. It looks like a soup bowl. <laughs> Vietnam's economy is now amongst the fastest growing in the region. Still in its developing stages, Vietnam's economy offers great potential for foreign investments. As an endorsement of its steady progress towards achieving developed nation status, Vietnam became a member of the World Trade Organization in 2007. In Vietnam, dressing reflects a person's social standing. If you see someone wearing loose top or baggy pants or shirts tucked out, the person is likely to be a blue collar worker. Today I've got my first business meeting here. I'm dressed to impress with my shirt and tie. But first I'm going to meet up with Lam to discuss business etiquette and language. I find Lam at a local cafe, waiting to introduce me to a Vietnamese national pastime, drinking coffee. Good See you, mate. Yeah. Nice place. Good morning. Vietnam is the second largest coffee exporter in the world after Brazil. 
Coffee was introduced into Vietnam by French colonists in the late 19th century and has become very popular among the locals. The French have also left behind a legacy of wonderful French baked bread like baguettes and croissants. Ah, here we are. No. This looks very different. Yeah. Well, it's very different to uh, Starbucks or something like that. <laughs> okay. Drinking Vietnamese coffee is a leisurely art where the coffee is allowed to drip slowly through a metal filter and then poured into a drinking cup. You can drink it hot or cold, sweetened with sugar or condensed milk. <laughs> and uh, this is iced coffee. What do you call it here? Uh, this iced this, coffee. This coffee you call it uh, cafe. This coffee is cafe. Oh, is it cafe? Yeah, milk is here, sure. Milk is sure. Oh, milk is sure. sure. And uh, ice dark. Ice is dark. Uh, and you call it cafe, sure, dark. So it's coffee, milk, ice, cafe, soda. Yeah, that's right. Ah, yeah. great, great. And what have you got? Yeah. Cafe deng nom. Cafe deng nom. Yeah, that's cafe right. Cafe deng nom. Yeah. Ah. Uh, can you teach me any other yeah. key Vietnamese phrases? Can you miss uh, everyone who wants to say hello? Yeah, hello would be great. OK, hello is xin chào. Xin chào? Yeah, xin chào. Oh, right, OK. Xin chào, xin chào. Xin chào. Very nice, yeah. <laughs> and uh, when you would say thank you, it's cảm ơn. Cảm ơn. Oh, yeah, cảm ơn. It's like yeah. gam, we have a dish in England called gam and steak. So yeah. It's very easy. Gam. Cảm ơn, yeah. You want to say goodbye with everyone, you say tạm biệt. Oh, right. Tạm biệt. 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 Yeah, tạm biệt. Tam big, tam big. That's right. You know, when you were speaking then, you know, um, and I've heard other people around speak the language. I could hear the, the, the Vietnam language a bit more. Yeah. It sounds a bit like a spring. Yeah. Like a sort of boing noise. Like boing, yeah. doing, boing, doing, boing, boing, yeah, that's boing, right. boing, yeah. boing. You yeah. think that's right? That yeah, sounds that's like that? Right. Yeah, that's right. We, we say like the, the song. This is uh, up and down, up and down, up and down. Yeah. yeah. And how does, how does English sound to you? English sound is uh, blank. They, they, they say the one. Yeah. Flat. Flat, yeah. Not much monotone, not yeah, much yeah. expression. Yeah. yeah. Boring. Boring. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a I, monotone. Oh, okay. Sorry, sure. Sure. Yeah. Please take it. Hello. Ừ Lâm đây Trinh ơi. À, cuộc họp lúc 4 giờ hả? Ok để 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 Lâm hỏi uh, Nick cái nha. Ok, ok để tí xíu nha, để máy nha. Ờ uh, Nick, uh, Trinh want to uh, confirm the meeting on a 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock? Yeah, it's okay. 4 o'clock. Okay. Uh, okay, finish your yeah. your your copy and we go. We go. Okay. okay. Vietnamese social etiquette also requires a third party to do the introductions, as it is not polite for Vietnamese to introduce themselves. Proper introductions will also lend credibility and ensure you are taken seriously, as too many foreigners have come and made lots of promises that do not eventuate. Vietnamese tend to be extra cautious of those without introductions. Addressing Vietnamese formally with the prefix Miss or Mr. is a sign of polite respect, appropriate in a business setting. The formal address is preferred, unless invited to go on a first name basis. Mr. Duck. Oh, right. Mr. Duck. Okay. okay. Mr. Nick. Okay. All right. This is Mike. Okay. Oh, same surname. Are you related? No, we, we, uh, uh, surname is quite popular in Vietnam. You get 5,000 people have the same surname. But right. call me Jin. Jin. Okay. Yeah. Miss Jin. Yes. Or you can just call me Jin. Okay, then Nick. Do you like what you see so far? It's nice. A very nice city. Beautiful place. Uh, it's very fast, very, you know, exciting. There seems to be a lot of development going on here. Mm -hmm. Vietnamese consider it impolite to talk business straight away. It said they engage in small talk, discussing general topics like the weather, economy, the industry and recent news events. You can ask about the company and use the discussion to gauge how far they have moved towards a profit-making center as opposed to a socialist enterprise. Vietnamese have very strong national pride regardless of their job. Colonialist attitude and arrogance will lose you respect faster than anything else. When it comes to business proposals, there is no single decision maker, but usually quite a maze of roles, people in positions to win over. Yeah. 
While the Western business system emphasizes efficiency and quick decisions, Vietnamese look for consensus and developing relationships. I would like to invite you to my house for dinner tomorrow afternoon. Really? Yeah. Your house? Uh, he's really want to do business with you because okay. inviting somebody to the house is some, uh, a good sign. What is it? Vietnamese culture? Yeah, well, that's yeah. very kind of you. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'd love yeah, that. Yeah, how about uh, 6 a.m.? Uh, 6, 6 p.m.? 6 p.m.? Right. Yeah. Great. Yes. Okay. Great. From the business executive to the everyday person on the street, the Vietnamese appear to be extremely hardworking and entrepreneurial. Yet there's a different kind of atmosphere here. It's not so cut and thrust like that of capitalist societies. And the Vietnamese have also they've managed to hold on to their rich traditions, expanding growth and rapid modernization. I think to do effective business here, you need to have a long-term perspective and have a good understanding of the culture. In addition to the impetus for development, religion has also exerted a deep influence on Vietnamese culture and their concept of life. Their attitude towards life, death and the world beyond bears a deep imprint of Buddhism, Confucianism and Taoism. And speaking of beliefs, here I am outside a Taoist temple. Taoism was brought here by the Chinese and has enjoyed some popularity for many years. It is believed that Taoism was introduced into Vietnam during the Chinese Han Dynasty period. By the time Vietnam recovered its independence, it had become one of the main religious faiths of the Vietnamese people. Vietnamese beliefs and attitudes are also reflected in their works of art. The Vietnamese history is pop-marked with tumultuous wars and revolutions, yet in spite of this they have maintained a culture that is beautiful and elegant. This gallery displays old propaganda posters which offer a glimpse into Vietnam history. You can also get a sense of Vietnamese values through the artist's choice of subjects. I like this. Yeah, a lot of people pass here and they have to stop because you can see this uh, just uh, na natural with the Vietnamese heart and the bamboo frame. But the uh, artists make like uh, the group of the people. Right, yeah. yeah. Very, very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, but this one is completely different, this one here. Yes, yes, a different artist. And he, he always with the wood point with the lotus flower. The he, lotus yeah. flower. You know, especially Vietnamese people, we, we love uh, lotus. The lotus flower is particularly significant in Vietnamese beliefs because they identify with its attribute of rising from the mud and yet retaining fragrance and elegance. With these insights into Vietnamese customs, I'm ready to do some shopping. After all, I've been invited to dinner and it's only polite to bring your host a gift. I'm looking for a gift. Yes. For a, a business associate, I'm going to their house tonight. I'm looking for a gift for them. Yes. In the area of gifts, Vietnamese believe that it is the thought that counts. Any imported item not easily obtainable in Vietnam will be greatly appreciated, regardless of its value. However, given the Vietnamese superstitions, foreigners should be careful not to give an unlucky gift, else the hosts will also think less of them. So, uh, how about this? Uh, red color looking. Red color lucky. Yes. All oh, right. These are very nice, actually. Yes. Vietnamese associate color with moods. Red is warm and is considered lucky, while black is associated with mourning, unhappiness, and gloom. White is associated with death, but also purity. In Vietnamese culture, animals and plants are ascribed different attributes. The narcissus flower symbolizes success and prosperity. Turtles represent strength and longevity, while spiders represent luck with money. On the other hand, cows are deemed stupid, owls omens of death, so definitely avoid these for gifts. In addition, when selecting gifts, avoid handkerchiefs, as its name sounds like the Vietnamese word for hardships. Well, a 
I couldn't decide on one, so I bought a basket full of lucky gifts. Now I'm off to meet Lamb to go to Duke's house for dinner. These houses are really tall and skinny. Actually, too hard. <laughs> tube house. Yeah. Oh, like a tube, right, that makes sense. And this is Duck's house, is it? Yeah. OK. Great. The tube house, the typical Vietnamese home, is characterized by narrow and tall frontage. It is only about 10 foot wide, but can stretch up to 180 foot deep. This architectural style dates back to Vietnam's feudal law. Back in the 17th century, one was taxed based on the amount of street frontage the building occupied. Oh, okay. take your shoes off, okay? Take suit, yeah. Okay, but sure. don't worry about your shoes. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'll take them As in many Asian wow. cultures, okay, shoes are considered great. dirty and therefore not customarily worn in the house. Some homes will offer you house slippers, but often Vietnamese will go barefoot around the house. The Vietnamese are punctual during functions and appointments, so do turn up on time, and more importantly, at the appointed time. Do not surprise your host by dropping in unexpected, even if you've been told to visit any time. It will embarrass your host if he is not prepared and has nothing to serve you with. Remember to also avoid visiting at the siesta time between 12 noon to 1.30, unless your host has specifically arranged for it. Okay, check a seat. Wow. Sit uh, here. Hello. 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 Vietnamese family values are deeply affected by Confucian ethics, which places importance on allegiance to the family, respect for elders, and filial piety. Hence, it is common for the extended family households to live together under one roof. Oh, this is my baby. Oh, baby. It's the moon. Oh, it's Two a months. little moon. Mm -hmm. Hello, moon. <laughs> so small. Hello, uncle. <laughs> <laughs> it seems that Vietnam is going places. Developments, investments, exports, and the standard of living are all up. In fact, Ho Chi Minh City is proof that patience and adversity, together with a dogged determination, can win through in the end. I think the Vietnamese are an incredibly forgiving and forward-thinking people who surely must be considered one of the world's ultimate survivors. Well, that's it from us here. But please join us again for more culture shocking moments next time on Culture Shock. Jump on jump! jump.